What is up, MMA fans? This is Tudo Leonte for Short Dog here. And right now I have the pleasure to talk with former Bellator MMA Bantamweight champion and current rising Bantamweight title holder, Mr. Kyoji Horiguchi. Hello, Kyoji, and welcome on Short Dog. How are you? Yeah, how are you? I'm fine as well. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, so I'm told that you are in Japan right now. What are you doing there? No, I'm uh, I'm in Florida, America right now. Ah, I'm, okay, okay. I'm living in Florida uh, uh, for six years. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry, yeah. sorry. Just had a little bit of miscommunication there. Um, so speaking of Florida, I saw some of your teammates from uh, American Top Team testing yeah. themselves in pro wrestling recently. Um, mm -hmm. What do you think about the, the storyline uh, that involved Dan Lambert and some of the ATT fighters in all elite wrestling? Mm, it's a pretty fun, you know? Yeah, I like that. I want to watch the e a a e w a e w right a e w yeah i want to watch yeah that's really cool right <laughs> yeah do you, do you like uh, pro wrestling in general or do you like uh, puro rezu um i'm never watching so that's why i want to watch it watch that e a e w yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay, that, that's fair enough. So uh, let's switch a bit to MMA. Um, the first thing um, I'd like to, to know from you is uh, how did the Bellator and you get in touch again? Mm? Uh, uh, Berator owner uh, sent to message to me. Yeah. So then start a you know conversation. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> when did it happen? Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> okay. Sorry. No worries. I don't know. It's, 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 uh, maybe two, two or three months ago. Before, Before? yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I'm, not sure. I'm, I'm not sure. You know, yeah. yeah. My, my memory is not good. <laughs> <laughs> that's. I think that's a. Fighters problem, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I believe it's yeah. the you know the dangers of, of your job, I believe, but yeah. let's not talk, uh, let's not discuss uh, about that just yet. Um, I mean, but the in general, the relationship between you and Bellator was pretty good, right? Since you fought for them in the past. <laughs> Yeah, of course. I'm really uh, Scott Coca is a really friendly guy, and uh, he has a good good vocabulary, you know. So yeah, really friendly. Right now, yeah. Um, what's the main motivation behind your choice to sign with Bellator again? Or to fight uh, in Bellator again? Yeah, because I'm I'm released the belt for my injury, so I will get I will get the belt back. You know that's uh, my motivation right now. Yeah. When you communicated your choice to rising, you know, to sign again with Bellator, what the Japanese organization say about that? Mm. Oh. 
uh, they wanna stay in in the rising. Yeah, but uh, I wanna I wanna fight with uh, against uh, more strong fighter, you know. So that's why I'm move moving in the Bellator. Um. So. Can you please confirm the fact that you will be fighting both in Bellator and in Rising? Mm. This call. Uh, like now is a like now is a Bellator fighter. Okay. But uh, I hold a Rising belt too. So that's a hard question for me. But uh, that's a. Um, uh, Lijin, Lijin pre president and uh, Verator president. This discussion, you know. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, no, okay, okay, I understand. Okay, I understand your position. Okay. I yeah. just would like to know, you know, from your point of view, how do you see this situation, which is, you know, it's it's kind of unusual. It, it's not that common to see a fighter competing yeah. under two different yeah. promotions. That's the problem. Um, but like you said, that's their problem. <laughs> yeah. um, how is your relationship right now with uh, Mr. Sakakibara? Oh, really good. Uh, they, uh, they are very friendly. He's a very friendly. So he's coming. Yeah. Uh, he's coming to Berator event. In December. Yeah, in December, next fight. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really friendly. Yeah. yeah. Did Rising offer you to fight during 2021? Uh, they won, they want, they say they won, but uh, it's hard, you know. That's a president talk, need a talk, you know. <laughs> Rising, no, no, no. Uh, no I, I meant before you uh, signed before. with with Bellator. Did Ryzen offer you a match mm. for 2021? Before the Before the Lijin want to fight in in Lijin, but uh, uh, yeah, of course have a COVID team, you know. And uh, if I come back to Japan, need a two week quarantine. Who? Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's hard, you know. Yeah, that's why I can I couldn't fight. Okay, okay. Um, speaking about your fights in your latest fight you dispelled any doubts about your condition following the nasty acl injury you suffered in 2019 um, in your latest fight you actually put away kaya sakura with punches um, in, in the first round on top of that um, how did you feel going into that fight and how did you feel after scoring that impressive victory? Mm, I'm I'm usually uh, positive thinking guy, you know. So doesn't matter what's happened, my injury, you know. Just uh, just I to about take your time no there is no yeah. rush no worries yeah uh, yeah my my motivation uh, really high. Uh, 
my injury before. Be, uh? before. My yori, motivation wa Right now. Uh. I have more power. Right now, uh, right now. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no worries, no worries. I, I understand. Can you, can you I, I ask uh, one more, one more time. Okay, I, I understand how difficult it is to talk in a language that is not your mother tongue. So, <laughs> no worries about mm. that. So, I wanted to to know how did you feel, you know, going into that fight, considering that you were coming from such a nasty injury and after you scored your victory how you know actually winning how did it make you feel feel is a really really happy you know <laughs> i believe myself you know that time so i will show up who's the best fighter you know yeah really happy yeah and if um, if it were up to you, um, ju just up to you, I, I understand that the presidents have to talk <laughs> between yeah, them, okay. but it, if it were just up to you, would you like to defend your rise in Bantaway Championship in 2022? Yeah, I want to, I want, uh, I want to fight them, but uh, yeah, need a President Tom. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but would you be interested in a trilogy fight with uh, Kaya Sakura? Uh, doesn't matter who, who, who's uh, opponent, you know? Yeah, so, yeah. But, okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but what about, you know, consider that Asakura has a victory over you. You scored a victory over him. You know, would you like to settle this with him one day? Or do you think that it's oh, it's enough? Mm, yeah, I don't care. You know, he, he if he gets victory, yeah. Yeah, I will fight fight against him, you know. Mm. So yeah. Okay. Let's discuss a little bit also your upcoming fight with uh, Sergio Pettis for the Bantaway belt in the Bellator 272 headliner. Um, as you said before, you never lost your belt, your championship, but you had to relinquish it after an injury. Um, do you consider it still to be your title? うーん。Would you repeat your question again? Oh, okay. Co considering that he never lost the the belt in a fight. He had to, you know, to give it to give it back after mm -hmm. an injury and no one actually defeated him for the belt. I would like to know if he still considers, uh, considers himself the champion. Hmm? Today. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Yeah, no way. That's not my best, you know, so. Okay, okay. That was uh, what I wanted to know. Um, do you usually prefer competing in the cage or on the ring? I, I like uh, I like cage. Do you like it? Uh, what do you prefer? You know, fighting uh, in the cage because uh, cage is a more is a big mm -hmm. and uh, a high grab use a grappling uh, opponent not go out. You know, love, ring is a, uh, everybody go out, you know, <laughs> so it's hard for me. Yeah, yeah it, it's easy to fall off the, you know, in the ropes, actually. So, yeah. um, and, you know, do, do you struggle when, you, you know, you had to fight in the same year you fought once in the cage, once in the ring. Do you struggle to adapt 
to you know to one or the other oh it doesn't matter for me yeah ring case is a little bit different but uh fight is the uh, same you know <laughs> yeah. yeah actually i have one more question then i i, I let you go I, actually you know even the rules are, are a little bit different do you think that you will miss um, soccer kicking for example you know so or some of the peculiar rules uh that rising uses rather than the you know the unified mma rules uh, uh, but i i'm using a uh, soccer ball kick a couple of time you know mm -hmm. so i'm not a big deal for me so that's why it's okay <laughs> yeah okay yeah. do you have any last message that you would like to share with us today mm. uh, i will show you my best fight on december 3rd yeah I will show you Japanese fighter is a strong. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, arigato. And arigato. Uh, best of luck with your uh, upcoming fight. It was such a pleasure and have a nice day. Thank you very much again. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. -bye. Bye. Uh